In this clip, I will show you how to find the kiosk PIN number, how to use the PIN number to sign in and out your child, and how to use the QR code to complete the same task. At this point, I have already created a ProCare account, and I'm logged into the app on my phone. There are two ways to find your kiosk PIN number. The first option is through your profile details located within the menu button in the top left of the application. I will open the menu and tap Edit Profile Now. Here you can see the unique pin associated to my profile. I can simply back up to my child's activity page by using the menu button and selecting children from the list. The second option is within the QR scanner tool located in the top right of the app. With the QR scanner open, you can locate the pin number at the bottom of the screen. I will once again return to the child's activity page by clicking the X in the top left. Now that we know how to find our kiosk pin number, I will show you how to use the pin to sign in or out your child. At the kiosk, I will simply enter the four digit pin number using the keypad displayed. And once the child's name appears, click the blue sign in button at the bottom of the screen. Sign your name using the tablet and click the blue done button at the bottom of the screen. The device is now ready for the next parent. To sign your child in or out using the QR scanner, open the tool by clicking the icon on the top right of the app and hover your camera over the QR code on the kiosk. Once your child's name appears, click the sign out. I will demonstrate signing out my child with this method now. In the event you have multiple children, when you enter the kiosk PIN number or scan the QR code, you will have the option to select which child or children are being signed in or out for the day. I will demonstrate this now. In this clip, I will show you how to edit the push notifications within the ProCare app. I once again already have a ProCare account and I'm logged in on my phone. I will begin by clicking the menu button in the top left of the app and selecting edit profile at the top of the menu. When I scroll down my profile, you will see the notification section and I currently have all notifications selected and turned on. If you would like to remove or add some notifications, you can do so by clicking the radio button to the right of that activity. Once I am satisfied with my selections, I will click the save in the top right. Finally, to return to my child's activity screen, I will click the menu button and select children. I've now modified the notifications I will receive via the ProCare app. Thank you for your time and I hope this was helpful.